So let's start with the first track. It is Burn by Pincy and Tyler J. Let's go. I've been chasing the darkness inside since you've been gone. The silence it creeps up on me when I'm all asleep inside. It's a question now I know What's the deal there? Are you producing as one well, score or is that just you, Pinsy? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. What's the deal? That's sick, man. You guys got that Rocktronic vibe down really well. I, honestly, I ain't got really no constructive criticism to, to give. Solid track. Seems like everyone else is enjoying it as well. Dude, I would not have guessed that was your vocals. 
That's really cool, man. Just need some OTT on the mess there. <laughs> Good old OTT. Sweet. Solid one to start off with. I hope it keeps going like that. Let's go. All right, the next one is Beasel and Arnash. Right, I'm so fucking bad with pronouncing stuff, guys. If I get it wrong, I truly am sorry. Let's go. Love that dude. The only bit I would say just I would improve on is I feel like the clap could come out a little bit more, like in the drop, and on like the second half of the drop, I would have just liked to have had like sounds like you've already got one in there, like an offbeat hi hat, but I would have just liked the clap to come up a little bit and the offbeat hi hat to be heard a little bit more just like during find it. <laughs> Yeah, just to keep just like to keep the drive of the track going, um, it just needs like an, a little bit more of an upbeat uh, rhythm at this point. But other than that, sounds sick, dude. Uh, what up, Fuzzy? No worries, buddy. All right. Let's move on. All right, okay, so we've got, I'm assuming it's an Alan Walker remix by 10 seconds to midnight. Sorry. Turn, what, is the mic not loud enough? Is everyone feeling the same way? Okay. Mike is a bit quiet. Fuck. All right, hold on. Maybe it's something I can do in OBS. That's nah, already cranked. Maybe just turn down the tracks so we can. Uh, yeah, should we do that? Should we turn down the tracks? Because I've had to turn my mic down. As, I mean, my uh, headphones down as well. 
All right, sweet. Let's do that. Let's turn down the tracks like 5 dB. All right, let's give it a quick comparison. Boom. That any better? Sweet. All right, let's go. Progressive house vibes. Production was really good, guys. I'm feeling a bit of FOMO here because I don't. I feel like I should know this song, but I don't. How long ago was this song? Is this like Alan Walker NCS days or or like later? It's very old. God damn. No, um, to be fair, I wasn't too much of an Alan Walker fan back then. Um, but in terms of production, the production's really good. Yeah, like someone said, it's um, very 2016 Progressive House vibes. Nothing wrong with that, but you definitely nailed the vibe on that, so sweet. Uh, no, this was, was the original Progressive House? Oh, okay. I see. Right. Dude, I'm so sorry if I butch you know. Sleep tricks? It's because it's got like the little dash, the little thing underneath. I don't know if I'm fucking that up, but. That's sleek, sleek tricks. I've I've seen you in the chat. You're in the chat, right, dude? I swear I've seen you. 
Right, let's go. That was sick. That was sick, dude. Honestly, I've got nothing bad to say. Nothing constructive to say. That was wicked, man. Vocal sounds great. Um, oh, and congrats on the release as well, man. That's wicked. I'm a huge fan of Airwave. What's everyone saying? <laughs> Fuzzy said that, um, that I recorded the vocals. And I said, I didn't, I didn't want you to feel bad in Scott. So I told him that we shouldn't be telling anyone. Hell yeah. Right, let's keep going. High altitudes, you still around, buddy? Yeah, of course, man. That was wicked. Solid 10 out of 10. Hey, there you are, man. All right, let's go.
notes on the other side wicked track dude i love the vocal i think the vocal needs a bit of tuning like my approach would be melodyne but um if you don't have that just whatever sort of auto tune you can get your hands on um and the vocal on the drop felt a little bit too loud to me let me show you yeah, it feels like it's taken up way too much space, but also feels like it's got too much mids in, which in a drop never really works out too well. So like, if we go over here where the chorus is. For a pro Q on here. There's too much of this area. Already that sounds a bit like the vocals got more room to breathe. Um. In the beginning, I think you need some, maybe some atmospheres to keep like the interest. Let me show you. I can already hear some atmospheres, but they're kind of, there might be loops. And the problem with loops is that they don't really evolve or do much. Um, I'll quickly do some, uh, just to give you an example, Atmos Rack. I'm just turn all these down. Sorry, I hope you guys don't mind me uh, stopping just to do this sec. I'd rather, if there's places we can help people, I'd rather do it. And then we could take like, I don't know, some from here. So from there. 
already you can hear how much just that like vocally breathy atmosphere is adding. And then the, the idea is that you'd go through this, and you'd find a different bunch of samples that can that are in the key that can just offer more evolvement through the atmosphere rather than just a loop which is kind of just stay static. Uh Sweet, and then next, um, the drums in the drop need to come off a bit. Let me check this out. By the way, for anyone that doesn't know, the rack is basically just like a Valhalla Supermassive, which is free. Feel free to screenshot this. And then a shimmer. The shimmer's not as important, but it just adds that type of shimmery, shimmeriness, like an octave above. And then the rest of it's just Ableton stock, EQ, OTT, Saturator, EQ. And it just basically takes it from sounding like just absolute randomness to sweet. Okay, and then the drums. Will you promise me I'll stick around? Yeah, I think you need a bit more of like a ride and crashes kind of combo going on. Make sure it's not warping. Maybe even double timed like that. Nah, fuck that. And then, you know, combine that with some crashes, maybe some hats on the in-betweens buried. That's the approach I'll take on this, buddy. Right, sweet. Uh, yeah, the rack's free on the website, guys. If you want to go grab it. No worries, buddy. Happy to help. Cross. <laughs> right. Fleo. F L E O. FLEO? Is that like a play on words because you use FL? Am I, am I saying that right? <laughs> God damn it, Cross. Say his name right. Ah, okay, FLEO. Okay, let's go.
Love that. By the way, guys, can someone please go and check who Interstellar was from? My bad, I completely forgot to write the name. I just want to give feedback on this one, please. Thank you. Damn, man. That was, the start of it was definitely like Major Alan Walker vibes. Feeling old as shit again. Um, the first drop, I felt, was a little bit too hectic, like, high-end-wise. Let me quickly go show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> All in this kind of area. Um, I f I'm not sure what it is. I'd go for it individually rather than trying to do what I just did with like a overall EQ. I just make sure that like you rebalance the drop so that that sort of stuff is tucked a little bit more. Um, other than that, there's really not too much more to say. There was like a, there was one clap that had a bit too much reverb on around like this mark. Honestly, just like a really nitpicky thing, but I could just, I could hear the reverb just a little bit too much. Um, yeah, second drop sick. Second drop production wise was a lot stronger than the first drop. Really liked it. Still had that old school feel in the way, but also uh, like on the modern side as well, just because that kind of music's still pretty relevant. But sweet, did we find out who Interstellar was by? And <laughs> Zimmer, fuck's sake. I asked for that one to be fair. <laughs> uh, Interstellar's by Dodo. Sweet. Let me write on there. D O D O. There we go.
Dodo! I love that buddy. So, um, what I would say is that creatively, like it's really solid, like idea-wise. Uh, mixing definitely needs some work. But the good thing is like, you can't really create, you can't learn or teach creativity. You can always learn mixing. So it's good that you're this creative before the mixing comes, if that makes sense. Like when the mixing's there, like you're gonna be unstoppable. But to give you some constructive criticism on the production side of it now, like the mixing side, I've wrote down a few notes. So the second chord, it seems like the low end's off. Yeah, like the, the bass there isn't following what the chord progression is doing. Have a look what it's doing. It's too low for me to tell, but go take a look in the like the bass that you've got in that part, and just make sure that the note for the bass is following the root note of whatever else is going on in that section. There's a piano. Make sure it's following the root note of the piano. Um, second point is just sound selection overall could just be maybe improved, but again, something that can be worked on. Uh, so the first drop. Don't know why, but something about it just felt like a bit unexpected to me that it was gonna be drum and bass. Um, now unexpected can be good, but I feel in this case, I would have liked to have been sort of teased into the drum and bass a little bit more. Because it felt like you were building up to more of like a hard style thing. <laughs> So I would have just took some of those drum bass drums and sort of filtered them in in the build. Next point on the drop is that the drop actually feels quieter than, I mean, we can visually see it here as well. The drop is quieter than the build. Here's the build and then it goes into the drop. To counteract this, I use a build rack. Sounds really simple. It's just, I automate this knob. You go from zero to a hundred. Is that where you drop it? Fuck's sake. There we go. And then it goes back down to zero. So what's actually happening there is as this builds up, it removes a little bit of bass, a little bit of highs, a little bit of volume, and a little bit of sides. Meaning that the build gets quieter, less bass, less highs, and a little bit more central. And then when the drop hits, it gives this feeling that the drop is all of a sudden louder, it's got more bass, it's got more high end, and it's wider. But you're not actually adding anything, you're just taking it away beforehand. Let's give that a quick listen. Yeah, already that sounds bigger. Okay, and then transition, this transition here. It's such a big fill, and like the drums carry on, that for, for that to sort of stay there, I would expect a little bit more going on this side of it. Maybe like keep the bass in, or bring in another element that's gonna fill it up a little bit more, because it, it sounds like it's getting big, and then it kind of just goes back down again. Whereas I'd want to feel like a an more energy during this section. Uh, then the second bell to me felt like it could have. It feels a little bit out of key. <laughs> Only on that second chord. Though the first chord is absolutely fine. When it goes to that second chord, it feels like it's gone off key now. Um. And then lastly, the second drop just felt a little bit too hectic with like the stuff that's in there. Be very intentional about the stuff that keep you keep in the drop because the more you've got in there, the harder it is to mix and everything starts clashing like crazy. So just less is more, but just make more of a deal out of the less stuff that you've got in there. So like if you've got a bass in there, make that bass as good as it can be, et cetera, et cetera. So that you end up with a mix that's really full with less things in, but they're all intentional. Sweet. But um, yeah, that's that's my feedback, dude. I've, I don't mean to uh, 
feels like I've teared you apart on this one. I'm really trying to be more constructive with it. Like I said, creatively, it's it's really solid. Um, I just want to give you these pointers so that you can improve on the mixing so that they both come together and then you'll, you'll be making some really solid tracks. Sweet. Okay, we've got Lie. I'm assuming this is the William Black remix by Tree Town. Wicked man, I got nothing bad to say about it. Nothing solid. I love the uh, the stutter things were sick. There was one, one little thing. I would have just loved like a. Where is it? I just would have loved the bigger sub drop there because so much energy throughout all this. I would have just loved a little bit of like, you know, just one of those sub drops that just suck you, like in. Just like a really kind of one, but other than that, nothing else to say. 
<clears throat> sweet sweet so the next track is exactly on and shit is it true time again Yeah, my bad. Do you know what, guys? I did this at like one o'clock last night. I dragged them all in. And I was like, I, I was just so tired. I, I usually do try and name them. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're sounding a bit fruity. that was wicked the yeah I think someone else said the use of bit crush on that was really really cool um I love the fills the glitches everything the only one thing I've got is I would have liked the kick and snare to just be a bit stronger like a bit the kick just to feel a little bit lower and the snare just to punch through a little bit more but other than that solid track yeah the stutter effects were wicked okay Swalex, Swalex, Swalex. Am I pronouncing that right? You still there, bud? Oh no. Right, let's go.
but really cool man uh like i said halfway through i really love the uh movie score vibe kind of give me like a hans zimmery you know like i think it's the bows in general that kind of gave it that kind of otherworldly vibe but yeah i really fucked with that um i think a few of the guys mentioned that the kick wasn't really coming through i could definitely feel the low end i think it just needed more like just add another layer of tops uh and then in specific this drop here the drum and bass drop um definitely needs some rebalancing in the drop anyway to make stuff stand out you've got one cool bass in there but the stuff that comes before it like the synths need to be higher so that they're at the same sort of level um but before the drop this pre-drop here needs a little bit of work <laughs> Like it, it feels like it doesn't end going from the build into the drop. It just feels like a continuation, which more times than not ruins the impact of the drop. So I would try and take out a few elements here. Yeah, like you've still got the exact same synth that's here, like right there. So that's definitely gonna remove any impact from that drop. So even if you wanted to keep some, some of it in, just like maybe high pass it out a little bit. Let me quickly show you. It's gonna sound whack just cause I'm doing it with everything in, but it'll still make it. Just doing that gives it impact. So if you can imagine if you actually mess with the individual stems, it'll have, uh, you'll have far greater results. Sweet. Wait. Up next. Sina. God damn, I hate trying to pronounce names. I'm so fucking shit. I think it's Sina. Um, Hypnotize Remix.
sick. Definitely got like movie score vibes again. Um, which I thought was really cool. Constructive criticism wise, I would say that the drop feels a little bit too muddy. Um, let me just throw like an EQ on there. Way too much around this sort of section. And then the horns that come in here. Well, like a few dB too loud. And like when they come in, because they're so loud, they're kind of taken away from the vocal. At the same time, I think the vocal could be raised a little bit and a little bit of reverb because it sounds, especially here, it sounds a little bit dry. Oh, sweet poison. I would just add a little bit more reverb. And the last bit, the kick could just do be coming up a little bit. The kick actually sounds like fine sound wise, it just needs to come up like a dB or two. But other than that, solid track, man. Right, how are we doing? Yeah, I really like that one too. Uh, this is Tyler's. Let me write your name, dude. I'm so sorry. Tyler. Is that the artist name, buddy? There you go, man. My bad. I'll do better next time, guys, I promise. Sick man, I'm a big fan of that. I'd say the only thing that I feel is missing. Fuck, my bad. The only thing that I feel is missing from the drop is um just some more like top end stuff. Like it sounds like you've got all the foundational stuff in there, like the chords and the leads and whatnot. I feel like it's missing that stuff that completes the drop, which is like I don't know, random shit like vocals, um, like, you know, vocally chopped stuff or vocally atmospheric stuff. Atmospheric stuff in general works really well over the top of this sort of stuff. Maybe like a backgrounded ARP. Um, but yeah, solid track, man. Would uh, definitely love to hear that if you get a vocal on it as well. Yo. Yeah, is this one yours, dude? I believe this one's yours. I downloaded the latest one though, if it is. I mean, I think so. Yep, sweet.
that isn't me. Holy shit. Dude, that is an insane level of improvement. I think, I, I swear I said something to you like I'm on the first streams, which was like, once you meet the mixing with your creativity, you're going to be at like a ridiculously good level. And man, you're there. Dude, that was insane. I haven't heard something from you, in, you know, a good amount of time. And dude, that was just, pro that was purely just clean production. That, that's the best I've heard from you, 100%. What was it I said? It was it was something like that though, right? When, like once you get the mixing correct, something along those lines, but man, that was sick. I feel like, I feel like a proud dad. That was wicked, bud. Okay, right. Okay, so we've got El Exotic. We're back on my. Let's go. <laughs> This is like major UK vibes. I was actually going to ask where you were from, but yeah, California. Damn, yeah, man. It's, you, do you know, uh, you heard of Chase and Status? That's, that's kind of the vibe it's given me. Everyone was loving that. Yeah, that was that was that was insane. Just gave me major chase of status vibes. In in a very, very good way. Yep. 
we got Insco for the last one. It was the last one I managed to get in there for today's stream. Um, and it just feels right. We started with a track with Insco singing up, and we're going to end with a track that I'm assuming you produced, Insco. Well, I went into pop song I'm doing, then the production of vocals, going to get my friend to do the second verse. Very old school chain smokers. Old school chain smokers is the best chain smokers. And Dan, did you say uh, in exact that you don't, you haven't heard of Chaser Status? Because if not, you're about to have your mind blown. Right, let's go. Let's go back to the summer. I just found that better than yeah, that better than his chest status. God damn it! It's go her, her chest status so unheard of. <laughs> <laughs> Phone close, I'm in the hopes you might come Been a couple months now since we last spoke But I'm full of regret, I wish you we never took the fall Now my heart aches just to hear your name Those memories we had, the future we planned, I wish we stayed
Love that in Sky. Yeah, definitely Chainsmokers vibes. But you know what? It kind of makes sense as well because like the context of the song is go back to the summer, which makes perfect sense with it being that vibe as well. Um, constructive criticism, I would say, I mean, you've already said it, but like the vocal could do with when you re-record it, I'd say a little bit more compression, a little bit less mids, just to really crunch it and make it sit on top of the mix. Other than that, man, I ain't got nothing, nothing else to say. Like, solid tune, catchy as shit. Keep it up, man. Hearing great things. <clears throat> yeah, definitely a nice pop vibe. I think that'll actually be a banger when you put it out. If you put it out in the summer, right, guys? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna call it here. It's half eight here now, and I'm, I'm gonna go spend some time with my daughter before she goes to bed. But I'm going to try to do this more often, so any that I didn't get to today, if um, I'm going to go through in the Discord, and they'll be the start of the next one. Well, sweet guys, this was fun. I'll chat to you all real soon. Yeah, man, we're going to do we're going to do plenty more of these. Don't worry, I'm going to do some production ones as well. I remembered the video's been recorded. I'm gonna throw it up on I'm gonna throw this whole video up on YouTube um either later on tonight or tomorrow. All right, peace.